Hey there, I'm going to do a video on how I play the Yellow Raincoat. Um, and uh, Justin and I wrote that song together um, at the end of 2012. And we were working on his Acoustic Believe record. And uh, that's kind of the reason why the, whole, the song's in F minor, because I was capable of the first fret. We were working on um, an acoustic version of Fall, which is, was my favorite song on, on the Believe record. And we were working on that, just the two of us kind of singing, and, or he was singing and we were both playing. And so when I started playing the song for him, um, my capo was at the first fret. Usually I would play an E with, uh, without a capo, but since it was there, it just kind of worked out. And he started singing over it right away, came up with a song that day. It was amazing. So, um, so I'm going to show you how I play it. And, um, and this is the guitar I used on the record. It's Gibson Dove, 1990 Gibson Dove. And it's it's a pretty simple simple song, but the mechanics of it are a little little difficult um, at times. And uh, the recording is actually just the the, the main guitar through, through the song is just the is the original first pass through. And I didn't do any punch-ins on that. We did kind of chop it up and use a couple different sections twice. But um, basically, it's it's the original one-off performance. And we didn't double it, which uh, normally I would double a lot of guitar stuff I do, but when you're doing the hand slap thing, when you're slapping the strings and getting the, the percussion thing, it gets a little sloppy, very, very difficult to kind of lock that second part in, especially since the first one was just kind of real flow. And um, I think the tempo was 110 is what we set it at, and Justin does it live, he does it a lot slower than that. But but uh, this is basically what I did. So the, I'm going to show you the chords I used first, and then I'm going to kind of show you the mechanics of how I play through the chords. So the first chord, keep in mind I'm capoed at the at the first fret, so I'm going to tell you the actual names of these chords. Okay, I'm going to be at the uh, eighth fret, sixth fret, and eighth fret of the fifth string, fourth string, and third string. Okay, leaving the sixth string open. That's an F down there. So this is F minor seven, and those top two strings are totally fine. So when I'm um, when I'm playing, I'm kind of hitting the, the the root of that couple the couple notes here on the second um, on the third fourth string, and then I'm slapping my hand down. And sometimes I'll hit the low E string actually. Play. Okay, and then the second chord is C major seven, or I'm sorry, D flat major seven. I fooled myself. Uh, but it's it's on the fifth string, fourth fret, third fret, and then uh, fifth fret, and then top two strings open actually would be ones, okay. And this one you couldn't play the bottom string; you wouldn't want to play that. So first chord is F minor seven, to D flat major seven, okay. And then back up to F minor seven, and then the the, the fourth chord is is an is an E flat six chord. I saw a couple um, lessons up there, and, and some of the some of the kids out there got it really close. I mean, I'm really impressed because it's not these are not normal chords. I don't, you know, these are not the typical. You know, you know some people were playing it like that, just two chords. These are the chords I actually used. So, um, so this chord is is uh, would be the sixth fret of the fifth string, the fifth fret, and the fifth fret, and then. I, you got to make sure you don't hit this note here, the fifth fret of the second string, or those won't work. So I really just kind of limit my playing to those. And once I get this finger on, uh, I'm playing this is a, the eighth fret of the fourth string. Then I can move my first finger down there. If I want to hit open strings, I can do that. Those are fine. Because the open strings are almost always good. For the verse, um, the the B section starts with the C major seven chord, and then I go to the C. I'm sorry, D flat major seven. Sorry, so sorry, D flat major seven chord to the D flat six chord. So remember, this was E flat six, D flat six. So we so we have four, four, three, five. Okay, same string. So we're, all of this is all of the fingering so far is on the fifth string, fourth string, and third string. Okay, so we have the D flat major seven, and then to D flat six, and then the G chord I'm playing is this. 
okay? It's not a G chord, I'm sorry, it's A flat chord, okay? And so what I'm doing is I'm playing the root, the octave above that, the third, okay? That's five, skip a string, so I'm on the bottom string, skip the A string, go to the sixth fret of the fourth string, and then the fifth fret of the third string, and then hammer on the pinky on the third string. Okay, and when I hammer around, I hammer down and kind of pull away from it or pull down towards the floor. And I'm muting the other string. So you hear that? I hit that E string too in there, like the, the F note. So I can do this A flat chord here. And then I go up to the um, F minor, uh, the F minor 7 chord, and then to the, D, uh, the E flat 6 chord. So I'm using all the chords I used before. So, um, okay. Now here's where it's going to be different. Instead of the E flat or the F minor seven chord, I'm going to do an F F two chord. Okay, there's no third in here, so you can't really call it an F minor two. But I'm playing the eighth fret, the tenth fret, and the twelfth fret. Okay, of the fifth, fourth, and third string. So again, so, so much of this is just on those three strings. And then when I go down to the E flat chord, instead of going down to E flat six, I'm going down to an E flat, basically E flat, G, and an E flat. This is basically an E flat major chord, okay, with the root on top. So the first time I'm doing, I've got the seventh on top here with the, and going to the sixth, which I really like that movement. So I got that that really nice that second or ninth up there on top of the F minor chord and then to the E flat triad just right to the root and then I do that again. And then back to the top. So that little that little that little thing is I'm going I'm hitting the A string open, which is really B flat because I got the capo in the first fret, and I'm hammering on on the A string. I'm hammering on the sixth fret and the eighth fret. Okay, and then I'm dropping. I'm hitting the bottom string, and then I'm hitting those two strings. And just a little theory note here: uh, these two notes open this on this F, F minor seventh chord. This is the third and this is the seventh. Those are the guide tones, okay? The third and the seventh of any seventh chord are considered the guide tones. And sometimes you can just play that. And if the bass player is doing his job, he's playing an F and you're playing the guide tones, which would be A flat and E flat in this case, um, then you're implying a, a major seventh or minor seventh chord with only two notes. You don't need to play all four notes to really imply that chord. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. Go on. Going down to that D flat major seven, and then the E flat major six. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm hitting something I got picked up from John uh, John Mayer, where he does that a lot, where he hits the he can get the slap and pitch at the same time, which is nice. Normally, when you do the slap thing, you can only you kill the strings. There's nothing going on. So with this. have that slap sound like a snare drum, but you can still have notes ringing out, you can still have pitch, which is really cool. I love that. I love that trick. So, um, so again, A section is this. And notice on the, on the D flat major seventh chord, I'm kind of grabbing the E string. Right before I hit that, I'm hitting that E string, uh, or really what, it's an F note, but um, I'm hitting the open E string right before I hit the slap. And then back to the, into the B section. 
And so when I'm playing this uh, C major set or the D flat major seven to the D flat six chord, I can finger it this way and this way. But if I want to hit open strings, I can finger it this way, where I'm using my third finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, my first finger on the second or the third fret of the fourth string, and my second finger on the third fret of the sec, uh, third string. So, so I can hit all those strings if I want to. Uh, and then I go to the G chord. the whole tune. I mean, it's, you know, there's some mechanics in there. And then we did some overdubs with the strumming guitars and things like that. We had some fun with the high strung guitars. So uh, hopefully this this uh, helped you and uh, you learned some new chords out of it. Maybe uh, you can come up with your own variations. I love all the variations I'm hearing on, on the uh, YouTube of people's different arrangements of it. And uh, it's really cool. It's cool to see. And I'm glad to be able to kind of hip you to some seventh chords and some sixth chords, which are chords you might not normally play. Okay. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.